Los citizens of Whoville, they are very poor decision makers, folks. First, they move in next door to the Grinch, and now, a psycho. Yeah, they move next door to the Bates Motel and Psycho House from Alfred Hitchcock's classic thriller, Psycho. Who does that? Uh-oh. Hey, Norman! Okay. Hey, everybody. Um, please get your pictures, and then we're going to go. All right, Norman Bates is not supposed to be here. Oh, jeez. Really, oh, Norman, cool. again? Uh, new plan. New plan. Everyone stay quiet, and hopefully he won't notice us, okay? That did not work. Hey, really? Norman. Straight to the knife, man. You're from 700 real quick. Real quick. I need you to relax. Wait a minute now, Norman. I back up here. Hold up. Hey, man. That's so rude. You need to talk to somebody about that. I'm sorry, folks. I am. You know, the man's had mother issues for several decades now. At this point, we just don't know what to do with him. Ignore him. Instead, take a deep breath and mentally prepare yourself for what we're headed to next. Because it's a doozy. Oh, the cycle house. one of the largest sets ever created in Hollywood history. The crash site from Steven Spielberg's War of the Worlds. And in just a moment, John's going to stop the tram and go have a quick opportunity to stand up and take a few pictures. I'll let you know when. Okay, you can stand. And I broke him out the kind of headphones on the movie too. The airplane crash site set is a perfect example of a set that is all designed around the vision that Stephen had. We first began to sit down to talk about the world. I thought, what if the 747 goes down right in a big neighborhood? Because it's, it's just something you don't see. You're doing good. You're doing good. You're doing good. All right, we're going to be moving momentarily, so everyone, please take your seats. Thank you. That's a real 747 Boeing airplane.